Okay. All right. Let's go um, red, yellow, blue, blue. Red, yellow, blue, blue. And headdress can be up or down. Oh, and we're going to come on to our back. Fist distance between our ankles and our knees. Let's get our heels, true heels. Find your neutral spine. And let's press it out. Make sure you're not already jammed in the shoulder blocks and in and out there. As we go in and out, focus on engaging the glute muscles so you almost feel like they are barely skimming the surface of the carriage. So we don't have a heavy bum, is fully engaged. Let's do five more. Three. And let's bring it halfway in, little out and in there for four, three, two, all the way out and in six more times. Last one. And let's bring it in. Good, narrow V, heels together, toes apart. Still on our heels, I'm going a little bit toward the arch of my feet, but barely. Let's take it out, get that neutral lower back, engage the glutes, really feel what it feels like to draw to that midline. Let's do four. Good, bring it halfway in, little out and in. Five. Good, and all the way back out and in six times. Last two. And last one. And let's bring it in. Good, wide stance, externally rotate, heels on the foot bar. Find your neutral first, close the ribs, and out and in. Do six. Last two, and last one, and let's bring it in. Good, I'm gonna suggest taking that second blue off for balls of the feet, but you're welcome to stay on the heavier spring. Fist distance between the knees and the ankles, energy between the ankle bones, so you find that alignment with the big toes. Lift the heels high and take it out. Still focusing on engaging that glute. Let's do two more here. And this next time, let's add the heels. Heels down and up, carriage in and out. Still pressing through the big toes, keeping the knees tracking parallel. Neutral lower back, ribs down, neck is long, relax the jaw. Four, three, and 
Bring it in, take it back out six times, heels down and up with the accent on the up squeeze, little up squeeze. Three, two, heels are high and let's walk it out. Really finding that length through the, the back tendon as you lower the heel under the foot bar. Three. Two. Last one, each side. Let's hang out with one heel under the foot bar. Square the hips, square the shoulders, close the ribs. And use the breath to switch. Inhale, up, exhale, down. And both heels high. Let's bring it in. Let's go straight to narrow V, staying in a neutral lower back. Exhale, pressing out. Still pushing through the big toes, but finding contact on the foot bar with all 10. Let's do three. Good, this time as we go out, heels down and up, bring the carriage in. Staying in constant motion, but making sure to focus on those glute muscles, engaging, pulling the carriage in, resisting the carriage out. Stay engaged as you lower and raise the heels. Three, two, and let's meet up out here six times. Heels lift up, lift up, squeeze, lift up. Three, two, and prance it out. One heel and the other, making sure to stay externally rotated. Still pressing through the big toes. Take a heel here, hang out, square the hips, meaning don't collapse into the hip of the bent leg. Make sure to stay lifted. And using the breath to switch. And both heels high, let's bring it in. Good, all right, let's take our headrest down if you have it up. Let's go to balls of the feet. Wide stance, externally rotated, lift the heels nice and high. Let's take it all the way out there. Good, as you come in, we're gonna imprint, scoop, and come up into a little bridge. You don't have to go super high. We're just waking up the spine. Relax the neck and jaw. Three more. Two. And let's meet up in that bridge. Hold the carriage still as you lower and raise the heels. Getting a nice tendon stretch here. Keeping the hips lifted. Four. Relax the shoulders and neck. Three. Two. And one. Stay lifted as you take that carriage out and in. Four. Really engaging the glutes as you extend. Three, two, and last one. Let's bring the carriage almost all the way in. Widen through the shoulders as you roll down. And knees to the chest. Good, just roll yourself a little bit away from the shoulder blocks. And let's go to our first abdominal set. Legs up at 90. Imprint your lower back, belly pulls down, hands at the base of the skull. So as if you're cradling your head, you don't wanna crank forward. Cradling your head, peeling your shoulder blades off, lowering and lifting, 45 to 90. 
Each time your legs come back to 90, think of lifting your tailbone as you lift those shoulder blades off. Lift the tailbone as you lift the shoulder blades off. Let's do four. Three. Two. And let's meet up in that extension. Hold it for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull in nice and tight. Open up legs to 45, arms just about at your, at your uh, ears. Pull in tight, 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 rolly poly. Extend. Four. And last two. And last one. Let's meet up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. Good. All right. We're going to roll to the side. Keep your headrest down. Um, what are we on here? Let's see. Um, let's go to a red and two blues. So we'll do a little bridge work here. If you find that this is too light, switch it back to a red, yellow, blue. But we'll start with two reds. And, I mean, sorry, two blues and a red. Okay, headrest is all the way down. Let's start in a narrow V toward our heels, just a little bit north of our heels, a little bit north of the arch. Take the carriage out literally an inch. So you just engage those springs. Arms are long, neck is soft. Imprint, scoop, and come up into your bridge. Find that bridge, lifting through the hips, flattening and widening through the shoulders, release the, the neck and the jaw, and take the carriage out, sticky feet, pull that carriage in. Take it out, pull, pull, pull. Two more, pull, 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 and last one. Good, hinging, we tap our tailbone down and lift up. So the springs are engaged, your carriage is not all the way in and relaxed. <sighs> Keeping a nice long spine, three, two, and last one, hold it there, rolling down vertebra by vertebra, now imprinting, hollowing out. And bring it in. Good, knees to the chest. Stay right there. I'm just gonna check something. Okay. Coming back. Narrow V, but this time with the balls of the feet on the foot bar. And the heels together, lift them, squeeze them together. Let's take the carriage out just to engage the springs. Imprint, scoop, and peel up into your bridge. Again, engage the glutes, lift the hips, lift the heels, close the ribs, and let's take the carriage out and in four times. Sticky feet, pull the carriage in. We're not just giving in to the springs, we are pulling the carriage in. So you feel your glutes, your hamstrings, fully engaged. Good, we're gonna meet up and bridge. Springs are engaged, lowering and raising the heels. Two more. And raise those heels, close and open the knees, little butterfly. As you open, lift the pelvic bone. Close, open, little lift. Close, open, little lift. Two more, close, open, little lift. Close, open, little lift. And let's roll down as slowly as you can, hollowing out, really laying down each vertebra and release the carriage in and knees to the chest. Let's open to a happy baby. 
soles of the feet to the sky, flattening through the back, release any tension in your neck, shoulders, and jaw, and then flexing through the heels, opening to our extended V. But rather than tipping our pelvis up toward our, the sky, find that sacrum and tip your pelvis toward your foot bar. And a little flex and point with the feet. And let's bring it in. Good. Rolling to the side. Okay. Let's uh, stay on a red and a blue. So take one blue off, red and a blue. Let's uh, stay working in our glutes a little bit. Either the ball for your neck or headrest up. I'm gonna start on my left side. So I'm sitting to the bottom and the back of the carriage. So booty is all the way to the bottom and back corner. Get a nice long spine, focus on the waistline on the carriage, lifting up. So you visualize the line behind you, your spine is straight. This arm, I usually hold on to the shoulder blocks. Just be careful you're not death gripping. Okay, pull the knees in toward your chest so that that inside bottom leg acts as a push support into the carriage. And our top foot, that's my right foot, goes onto the foot bar parallel, heel down. My toes are off a little bit but find the geometry that works for you. You want your heel to be forward enough, number one, so your heel stays down, number two, so you're really pressing through the heel and taking the carriage out and in. Each time, refocusing on lifting the waistline off the carriage, lengthening through the neck, and now let's actively push into our heels. So as we take the carriage out, flex that foot, push into the heel, stack the hip and engage the glute. Let's do four, three, two, Last one, parallel, we're gonna start windshield wipers. So as you go out, externally rotate without collapsing back in that hip. Keep that hip stack, externally rotating the hip socket parallel in. Let's do two more. And last one, stay externally rotated now. In and out, pushing that top hip forward, lifting up in the waist, shoulders down. Let's do five, four, Good, we have one last transition. Carriage is all the way out. As the carriage comes in, that under leg is gonna reach long, stack the hips, pull that leg in. Long waist, long neck, three, two, and let's meet up with that leg extended. Underneath, tap the underside of the foot bar up, 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 last three, two, and one. Take the carriage all the way out to close the motion and let's bring it in. Good. Alrighty. Before we go to the other side, figure four, that leg that was working, take that opposite heel off the foot bar, square the hips, try and get your heel and your knee in line without forcing and pull that under leg or the opposite leg in, still tipping your pelvis toward the foot bar, not rolling into a little ball. Try and lengthen through the torso to get that stretch through the glute. And let's bring it in. Okay, we're gonna roll to the other side, situating our booty toward the bottom and the back. <sighs> Pull 
pull your knees in toward your chest, get that top foot on the foot bar. Now really stack that hip and lift up in the waistline and take it out, reassert that lengthening in the waist. Let's do three more. Now let's add that hard flex of the foot, pushing into the heel. Last two. And last one, Go, going into windshield wipers. As you push out, externally rotate, watch that top hip parallel in. Externally rotate. Keeping the waistline lifted, ribs closed, shoulders down. Three, two, and this one stay externally rotated to bring it in. And we have six here, pushing through. Really squeezing through that leg, pushing through the heel. Good, and the under leg engages, pushing through, pulling back. So you're resting on that supporting hip. Keep the hips stacked, keep the waist lifted. Last three, two, Let's meet up with that under leg extended, lift up to the bottom of the foot bar, up without collapsing in the waist. Three, two, and one. Take it all the way out to close that motion and bring it in. Good. Come on to our back carefully. Square your hips and shoulders first. What leg was I doing? Yes. Cross over. Try and ease into that hip opening. Soften, soften, flex a foot that's on your leg so you're not working the tendons in the top of your foot. And try and square that knee and heel. Good, let's bring it in. All right, let's stay on that red and blue. Sitting up, if you've got slippery tights, you might want a sticky pad underneath your bum, right on the edge of the carriage. I don't know if my tights are sticky, but better safe than sorry. Sit your booty right up on the edge, push back in the carriage. We're gonna go to narrow V on the balls of our feet. Okay, so here are your options. Hands can be on the shoulder blocks. If you feel like you're too far away, we can tripod our fingers. Okay, we're gonna take the carriage out and in. Goal is to sit up nice and straight. If you feel like your back is long and straight, bring your arms to fifth. Good, three. I'm gonna feel your sit bones on that carriage. And last one, good, let's bring it in. As your feet push into the foot bar, hands go to the outside, and we're gonna push into straight legs. Lowering the heels, raise the heels. Feel the extension and length through the lower back. Lower and raise. Three, two, and last one. And bend the knees and bring it in. Okay, depending on your comfort level, if you are Arms in fifth, sitting up nice and tall, okay, or here. We're gonna add the heels into the motion. So you take it out, heels down and up, pull that carriage in. Down, up, pull. As you pull with your sticky feet, you wanna feel the connection to your belly button, pulling to your spine. Mid and low back are fully engaged, sitting up nice and tall. We can open to spiral. Heels down up, other side. Keeping the shoulders down, lifting through the chest. And let's bring it in. 
Good. And unwind from there. Alrighty, let's go to one red spring. We're gonna stand on the carriage. Feet are in the, uh, in the middle of the carriage. I mean, for particular heights, you can be a little closer, shorter heights. We are gonna be in the middle of the carriage. Okay, sitting back into your heels and your sit bones. So hands are nice and light. From this position, you can even curl your toes up to stay remembering. Pull into an elephant back, so rolling up. Relax the back of the neck, stay right here. Hands are actively on the foot bar now. Keep that scooped hollow belly and rounded back as you push that carriage in or out and pull it in. Okay, we're not taking carriage back so far that we lose that abdominal lift, that scooped rounded back. <sighs> Coming in just to so tap your bumper maybe a millimeter away, <sighs> pull it in. Six, you should feel it in your abdominals. Five, make sure your weight is still back in your heels. <sighs> Last three. Two, and one, and bring it in. Good, just bend the knees and come upright for a second. Okay, our wrists should have been light so we don't feel strain in our wrists right now. Walk your feet back, heels. Let's put them like an eighth of an inch in front of your shoulder blocks. Same position, sit back into your heels, lengthen through the arms, make sure not to pull on your foot bar. <sighs> pull the ribs in, it's a downward dog extended spine. Hold that nice long spine as you push into your plank. Okay, shoulders are behind your wrists. We're gonna pull that carriage in and push out. So releasing in, softening, pushing out. Push four, three, two, and one. Good. And bring it in. All right. Bring your carriage all the way in. We're going to change to a yellow spring. So we're going to change the tension here. We're going to bring the soles of, or the ankles and knees together. Walk your heels back so they're roughly at that seam where your shoulder, uh, where your headrest is. God, sorry. Shoulders down. We're gonna push back into our tail feathers in the same way. Lengthen through the spine and the neck. Pull the ribs closed, bellies up, and we take it out to plank there. Squeezing the ankles and knees together. Pull in and out. Six. Last three, two, let's meet up in plank, wrap that left leg over the right, squeeze the inner thigh, narrow through the pelvis, pull in, six, don't collapse in that left hip, stay lifted and square, I think that's the last one, you go out, both feet down, wrap the right, squeeze, pull, Last four, this is it. Three, two, and last one. And pull it in and take a break. Twirl your wrists, bend your knees just so we're safer. We're gonna switch to a blue spring. Take the yellow off. Okay. Feet come back toward the middle of the carriage. Press through the heels, lengthen through the spine. Hands are nice and light so you know where your weight is. We're gonna push out to a plank, pull into a pike, a full pike. Bring that carriage just before the bumper. Exhale, come into your plank. 
Make sure your weight is not shifting into your wrists and shoulders. Keep your weight back. Four. Three. Make sure to release the back of the neck. Two. And last one. Bring it in. Good. Take a little break. All right. Wrists are directly in front of the shoulders. Feet are in the same place, ankles and knees together. Nice long spine. We're going to float that left leg into arabesque. Find your arabesque first because we're on a padded surface. I don't really expect you to find your balance, but no collapsing. Lift that hip. Good. We're going to take that carriage out to a plank, tap the top of your foot to the heel, pull back into that full arabesque. It doesn't really matter how high that leg goes. It matters that you keep it reaching, long, straight, and that hip square last time. Good, switching it up. We're gonna pull that knee into running man and switch. Three, making sure not to collapse in the midsection as you pull that knee in toward your chest. And last one, and let's push back to arabesque. Float that leg down. Nice little relief of the wrists if you need it. Find that setup. Push your weight back, right leg to arabesque. Check that you didn't collapse. Lifting up, but still staying parallel. You don't want to open that hip to the sidewall. And plank in, tap, pull it in. Really get in touch with that left foot, specifically the ball of the foot, specifically the big toe. Good, moving on from this arabesque. I'm gonna pull that right knee in as the left leg goes back. Bend through the left knee to extend the right leg. Four. Watch how much forward and backward motion in your shoulders. Two. And last one. Push, come into that arabesque and float the leg down. Bring it in. Good. Turn around after a sip of coffee. Um, take our headrest down. Let's switch to a blue and a yellow. So let's add a yellow one. Legs go in between the shoulder blocks. Make sure you have a hand distance behind you. Long black loops. Sitting up nice and tall and push back into chest expansion. Heavier weight, push back. Only four more. Three, two, all right, so we're going to do a series of pulling here. Walk your hands up to the square part of the loops. Pull into a simple row. Relax your wrists. Nice, soft grip. Pull in. When you pull in, get that little hold. Really feel the shoulder blades. Draw toward the midline. Neck is long. And last one here because we're just gonna walk our hands up in front of the hardware. Same thing, but we're gonna to come to a full extension to pull back. Full extension, resist, pull back. Make sure you're not pulling with the wrists. Think of those elbow points connected to your lats, muscles on either side of your back, below 
your rib cage or below your shoulder blades. Let's do three more. Two. And last one. Good. All right. Slip our arms through. Come into um, right angles. Exhale. We're using our lats again. Open goal post. Float in. We're rotating our palms facing to facing out. Facing us, facing out. Take it out of the shoulders and the jaw. Four. Three. Two. And we're going to meet up in that open goal pose position. Little up down, up, down. Make sure it's not your shoulders, it's your elbows working with your lats. Four, three, two, and one. And float it in. Good. All right, we're going to take the blue off, come just to a yellow. Um, let's go yellow on the inside loop, so the small loop. And let's, we're going to do um, a flow series twice all the way through. Let's do everything six times. Okay, so start with chest expansion for six, sitting up nice and tall, focus on from the side seam of the body back in the motion. Last three, two. This time as we float forward, we come into bicep. Sitting up nice and tall, six. Lifting in the chest, shoulders down, neck is long. Last three, two. Next one, we're gonna hold that bicep and go into hinge, holding that bicep, just upper body hinge. Neck is nice and long, shoulders down. Last three. Two, hold that hinge, slide those forearms up the wall, six, elbows all the way down, five, four, long neck, last two, and last one, as we come down, internally rotate, spiral in, seated C curve, fingertips to the back wall. Hollow out in the belly, tap your carriage, palms to the sky, tap. So right now, take the work out of your neck and traps, put it into your triceps. Last three, two, keep your arms high and we rotate out of our shoulder girdle to come back up and start all over again. Okay, I'm gonna switch this. I don't know which one. No. Okay, chest expansion, six. Breathing, getting taller. Last three, two, and one. Come forward, bicep curl in and out for six. Sitting up taller, lift in the sternum, shoulders down, neck is long. Four, three, two. Hold that bicep curl in, hinge for six. Long straight spine. Keeping the neck in line with the spine, chin neutral. Three, two. This time we're gonna hold the hinge, slide your forearms up the wall, pull the elbows all the way down to your ribs. Last three, two, 
and one. Good, we come sitting up as you rotate internally, spiral inward, come into seated C curve, get that position first. Fingers tap, palms lift, shoulders down, neck is long. Last three, two, and let's hold our arms high, long and straight as we rotate out. Good. Cross your cables. Let's go back to the long loops. We're on a yellow. Start with external diagonal um, chest expansion, pushing out for six. Last three, no swinging. As if you're pushing through water, two, and one. Okay, coming back in, we're gonna go into C curve with that external chest expansion. Hollowing out in the belly. Last two, and last one. Good, let's uncross our cables, stay on the big loops. Deltoid, so we'll do straight for six. Let's do three on each side, opening um, to the diagonal. So if you feel like the yellow spring is too much at any stage, go to the blue. It's fine if there's slack. I'm gonna pull straight through the arms, hinge in order to get that last bit of extension. Watch so you don't hinge first and fail to work the top of the shoulder. Keep the wrists in line with the forearm, chest lifts. I have three more. We're employing that same upper body hinge we did in the bicep curl. Good, palms facing, equal pull opening. Let your gaze follow that underhand or the lower hand. One more time, each side. And let's bring it in, beautiful. All right, loops go back on the pegs. Let's take a forward fold. And bring it in. Um, let's stay on a yellow spring, I think. No, let's go to a, let's go to a red, a red. Last upper body. Knees are up against the shoulder blocks. Tops of the feet are on the carriage, so we're not gonna curl our toes under. Plant your feet, you wanna feel that plant. Walk your hands forward over your shoulders. Let's start with the abdominals. So from this position, lift up kitty cat, sit back into your hips, and no pulling from the arms. We're just holding on, you're pulling those knees forward. Stay in that tuck, so don't release and pull, release and pull. Stay in that tuck, in that tuck. Six, five, neck is relaxed. Last two and last one. Float the carriage back, keeping our hands where they are. Come onto your knees, lift up in the belly in a nice tabletop back, scoop out your armpits and pull the crown of the head forward. Also here, try not to release the carriage back to the bumper or else you have to reignite that contraction to initiate the movement, stay in the contraction. Three, two, and one. One more time, each side. Scoop up, sit back, and pull in. Eight, seven, eight, 
Last four, three, two, and one. Release back. Come into a full tabletop. Sit bones narrow, belly button lifts, ribs closed, shoulders down. Scoop out the armpit as you press those shoulders down away from your ears, pulling forward. Engage your lats from underneath your shoulder blades. Last four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. Good. Take a nice big upper body stretch. And let's bring it in. Good. Um, we're going to get our circle. Let's go to, um, let's go to a yellow and a red. So just add a yellow onto the red we had. We're gonna come down onto our back. Your headrest can be up or down as you wish. We're gonna put our feet in the big loops and we're gonna put our circle in between <clears throat> our ankles. So find a place to rest your circle while you get your feet organized. Alrighty, and the circle, find a place above your ankle bone that doesn't impose on your strap. So wherever up and down from the ankle bone, it works. We're gonna stay parallel right now, squeezing in on the circle, in on the circle, in on the circle. You're flexing through the legs, I mean, flexing through the feet, squeezing through the legs, neutral lower back, heavy ribs, shoulders down, three, two, now hold that squeeze as you bend in tabletop and push out. It's not a big range of motion. Make sure you're not collapsing onto your lower back. Make sure you're breathing, nice long, soft neck. Last three, little internal squeeze. You might start to feel the circle bounce, something that's what we're after. 45 degrees, reach to the feet and toward 90. We are on heavier spring loads, so make sure as you go toward 90, you don't suddenly put the work into your lower back or the back of your knees. Keep the work right at the base of the booty where the hamstring and glute meet up. Two more. Now let's put it together. From 45, flex bend in tabletop, exhale, lengthen. Come to 90. Last one, all the way through. <clears throat> and from 45 degrees, let's meet up there. Externally rotate, okay? So internal squeeze for six, five, four, three, two, hold that internal squeeze, flex through the feet, come in just a little tabletop without losing that circle and push out, reach through the feet. So you may have to adjust your circle. Flex bend, staying neutral lower back, three, two, last one, lengthen through. Good, up toward 90, finding that same engagement of the glutes and hamstrings. Last two. And last one, good, putting it together, bending in. I have to adjust my circle, reaching out. Take it up toward 90 and down. 
five, four, take your time, internal squeeze, try and engage the entirety of the inside of the leg. Last two, yeah, I'm losing my circle, definitely losing my form. And last one, owie. And it's up and down, and let's bend it in. Whew. Alrighty, stand that heavier spring load, push to 45 degrees, heels together, half froggy, in and out. Four, three, Two, let's go full froggy, extend through the legs, open to that B, second position, and heels together. Make sure you are not rolling into your lower back. Our knees don't go past our hips. Four. Last two. And last one. And let's reverse, pull the heels in, open to a circle close. Pull in, so visualize drawing a heart with your heels. A love heart, not a body heart. Three, two, and one. And let's bring it in. All we're gonna do is change up our springs so that we are on two yellow. <clears throat> Take the red off, you're on to yellow, come back down. Back out at 45 and let's start drawing circles. Let's draw little circles, small circles. Starting off parallel and let's externally rotate drawing those small circles. It's like you're drawing circles on that far wall. Three, two, and one. Come back parallel, reverse the direction of your circles. Parallel, neutral lower back, shoulders down, ribs are heavy, and externally rotate those little circles. Four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up to 90 degrees. Let's flex our, flex our feet. Tip your pelvis toward your foot bar. Release and relax. Let's do a little ceiling shuffle. Pull one leg forward. Get that hamstring stretch and switch. And switch. Good, let's line up the ankles, release the cables, reach through the feet, start big circles there. Keeping a neutral lower back. Four more. Whoops. Good, next one, let's meet up 45 degrees, externally rotate, little Peter Pan. Push through that, the heel through the midline, straight from the pelvis. One more time, each side. And 45 degree opening circles at the bottom. Whoops. Let's do three, two, and one, 90 degrees, last time flexing, tip the pelvis away. Nice deep breath in, exhale as you open to your extended V, 
Keep your pelvis facing the foot bar, not scooching up toward the sky. And pull in the butterfly, soles of the feet together, toes point away, and pull those heels up to the pelvis so you can actually release your hips and your glutes. 